So how is an asbestos disease diagnosed? Generally, what happens is the person starts feeling bad, they start having lung pain, and they go to the doctor, and the doctor gives an x-ray, and then they see something, and they start to get concerned. They do a biopsy. Sometimes they do a fluid draw. Whenever I see in the medical records that fluid draws have been done, I start to worry that it is mesothelioma because that is a common clinical finding. Also, the pleura, in other words, the lining of the lung, can get some substance on it that looks like chalk. And this can be seen by x-ray. That is a common side effect of a lot of asbestos exposure also. But generally what we need for the lung cancers and the other uh, gastrointestinal cancers is a finding of exposure. And that's done through a careful work history process. In other words, finding out where the exposure came from, whether it was on the job or at home, or how it happened. So the diagnosis of a asbestos-related disease involves twofold. It, it involves the medicine and the exposure facts. At Capilino, Dodd and Krebs, we've been doing it long enough to know the questions to ask. We've been doing it long enough to put together the information of where the asbestos was, how it got there. So in other words, we know where to look. Plus, we've built a big bank of knowledge with the medicine. So we know what kind of questions to ask the doctors or in fact to give the doctors information to help with the diagnosis.